In the box we have some paperwork. The quick start guide is a crucial step for this product to work properly. We'll get into that later on in the video. HDMI 2.1 8K ultra high speed HDMI cable is included. We also have a USB-C 4K cable. And here is our power brick. This is the DP1310 hybrid dock by BenQ. This has a starting price of $299 US. The hybrid docking station works with pretty much every OS. If that was Linux, Max, Chrome OS, it's got you covered. Let's check out the back of the device and look at the ports. This is the port to power the docking station. Next, we have the USB-C port, which connects to your computer. Next, we have a HDMI 2.1 out port. Next, we have the HDMI 2.1 in port. Next, we have a HDMI 2.0 port, and above that is the display port. Next to that, we have a gigabit ethernet, along with three USB-A ports, and the LAN connector has a 10 gigabit transfer speed. Let's check out the front of the docking station. There is two 10 gigabit USB-A port, one USB-C 10 gigabit port, a 3.5 audio port, with the hybrid dock, if you decide to utilize all ports, you can turn this into an ultimate beast mode using free displays. Using the HDMI 2.1 port, you can output 8K 60Hz resolution or 4K 120Hz resolution if you're using a dual display setup with the docking station. For the hybrid dock to work correctly, we must go ahead and download the driver. Make sure you select the correct operating system you're currently using. This is a very important step if you don't do this, the hybrid docking station won't work correctly. This is a great feature on the hybrid docking station. It has rubberized feet that can be adjusted and clipped on into the grooves of the unit. The unit itself is made from aluminium, which gives excellent cooling performance. The hybrid docking station can be used vertically and horizontally. In my setup, I'll be solely using the hybrid docking station for productivity and gaming. This will be connected to my Mac Mini M2 Pro and my PlayStation 5, and it also be connected to my LG C242. Let's go ahead and get connected to the hybrid docking station. First, I'm gonna connect my Mac Mini to the USB-C port. Next, I'll be going to connect my LG C242 inch to the HDMI 2.1 out port. And then finally, I'm going to connect my PlayStation 5 to the HDMI 2.1 in port. Let's go ahead and get the power brick connected and get this switched on. Let's press and hold the big green button for three seconds. The blue light has indicated that we have connected to the Mac Mini via the USB-C cable. So now we want to switch inputs to the PlayStation 5. All we need to do is press the button once and it will switch straight over to the PS5. As you can see, we're playing Modern Warfare 3 Zombies at 2160s at 120 hertz without losing any picture quality using the hybrid docking station. Once you finish your gaming session, shut down your PlayStation 5, hit the green button on the hybrid docking station and it will take you back to the Mac Mini output. Here are some overall thoughts. The hybrid docking station is a great feature for anyone's setup. The key feature I like the most is the seamless switching between PlayStation 5 and the Mac Mini. I do believe that the hybrid docking station is missing one key feature and that would be an SD card reader that would just make this the perfect solution for all desk setups. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe for more content from me.